Jean Stanley was born in Oklahoma and graduated in physics from Wesleyan University. He obtained a PhD from Harvard in 1967. Jean was appointed assistant professor in physics at Massachusetts Institute of Technology and was soon pro promoted to associate professor in recognition for his interdepartmental teaching and research. He next made the one mile journey across the Charles River to the University of Boston, where he has stayed for the rest of his career. But that should not be regarded as a sign that he is a stick in the mud. Intellectually, he has traveled across numerous subjects, pioneering interdisciplinary research, and he holds no fewer than five professorships in physics, chemistry, biomedical engineering, and physiology. Eugene Stanley's curiosity-led research interests are not only in the traditional fields of physics, but also in the application of the ideas of physics to medical, economic, and even sociological problems. His research output is truly phenomenal. He has published more than 1,380 papers, many in the highest rated journals, and he has written 33 books. This work is truly significant by any measure of research impact. Google Scholar lists over 134,000 citations to his work. Professor Stanley is a member of the US National Academy of Sciences, the highest honor given to the very best American scientists. He has been awarded many prizes, the most prestigious being the Boltzmann Medal given by the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics. Honorary doctorates have been awarded to Professor Stanley from universities in Brazil, Italy, Poland, Belgium, Germany, Hungary, Israel, and the United States. These honors testify to the worldwide esteem for Professor Stanley. He currently focuses on four areas of research. The first is to apply the expertise of his research group in statistical and condensed matter physics to the misfolding of proteins that are important in Alzheimer's disease. Protein structures are calculated and then compared with experimental data to gain a greater understanding of the underlying causes of the condition. This work has been awarded the Memory Ride Prize for research into Alzheimer's disease. The second area of research involves the study of how water molecules interact when they are in a layer around a protein. The Stanley Group is generating computer models to explain experiments on a new theory of the nature of water in restricted environments within cells. The importance of water in living systems is a fundamental question of physics and chemistry, and Professor Stanley and his co-workers are making significant contributions in this area. The third area of research is on human behavior in social networks. How independent individuals come together to form communities is a vitally important subject for our society. Gene Stanley has applied modern methods of statistical physics to understand how communities form, how diverse individuals emerge as leaders, and how communities respond to threats. The final area of research is econophysics. Gene Stanley is called the father of modern econophysics, a term that he coined. This is a field also studied by Professor Emanuel Haven from the management school of this university. Professor Stanley's group applies the methods of statistical physics to the problem of understanding economic and financial data. To physicists, the economy is a collection of interacting units. Everything depends on everything else. The problem is, how does everything depend on everything else? Professor Stanley's group are looking for laws that will lead to a better understanding of economic data. The understanding and prediction of events which dramatically affect the economy is of paramount importance, as our experience of the past decade confirms. The econophysics movement has made important inroads into this challenging area. How, for example, can an approach from physics allow us to improve estimates of how likely devastating stock market crises are to occur. 
One important line of inquiry is the application of quantum mechanics to understand turbulence in the economic environment. This study has a spin-off back into physics where, the, where turbulence in the physical world is being studied. I understand that Professor Stanley has no plans to study ways of predicting turbulence in, the, in world politics. Gene is also active in the development of the role of women in the physical sciences. He won the American Physical Society Nicholson Medal for humanitarian service in 2004 for his extraordinary contributions to human rights, for his initiatives on behalf of female physicists, and for his caring and supportive relationship with those who have worked with him. He is also a jury member on the L'Oreal UNESCO Prize Women in Science. In summary, Professor Eugene Stanley is an exceptional scientist who has invented the research field of econophysics and has made significant contributions to traditional areas of physics. He is a, an exceptional person in society who has endeavored to improve the status of women in the physics scientific community worldwide. Mr. Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and Council, I present Harry Eugene Stanley that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Science. Congratulations. Well done. Well done, Eugene. Great to meet you yesterday. Congratulations. Honored graduates, honored supporters of graduates, parents, children, spouses, and honored faculty who each did their best to bring you to the stage you're in right now. I have the honor of spending two minutes to say something, so what should I say? I think the most important thing to say is to counter the impression you may have gotten in the last three minutes of reading, which is that I do so many things. This is not true. Uh, my students and my colleagues do it, and I clap my hands. And I think uh, the concept that uh, a, a person who is driven by curiosity cannot possibly do much himself or herself, but can catalyze work of others is an important concept not to forget about as you go on to life. Uh, and uh, the second thing is extreme honesty. I, you heard the successes, but the list of failures is at least as long. Uh, many ideas do not work out, but it does not stop us. If we don't try, we won't succeed. So I think as you go on in life, do never be afraid to speculate, conjecture, hypothesize, even brag if you're right, why not? Uh, nothing wrong with that. And perhaps most of all, to be competitive. You have to hitch your wagon to a star, as my wonderful grandmother taught me when I was a baby in Oklahoma. Uh, hitch your wagon to a star merely means be ambitious. And if you're not ambitious, the probability you accept will succeed at something probably goes down a bit or a lot. Uh, there still remains luck, good luck. But uh, so I think uh, I urge you all to be very ambitious, to recruit the energies of your colleagues, and of course to treat them exceedingly well, especially if you know that they're without them, you would have much less to do. So I thank you for inviting me here. I'm very moved by this. I'm certainly moved by all the warmth and affection that I've received since arriving in Leicester a few days ago. I hope to come back and perhaps to collaborate with some members of your faculty. Thank you.